Silence! That one got Silence, peasant! That one got 20 votes. Her. Christmas Day, it's kind of long, but the other one's long, but I got to do the last one. Okay, so. All right, Christmas Day. Christmas Day, 2003. It was Christmas Day. Me, a brand new medic, functioning only as a basic, waiting for reciprocity. At the end of a busy 12-hour shift, two blocks away from clocking out, Unit 21, sorry I'm not to do this to you, you're the closest we got out there, Code 3, Code 3 for the county on an ill person. Unit 21 dispatch, we're clearing, we're in route. My driver, a brand new basic in it for the lights and sirens, and the go-ahead to run through traffic lights. We turn up the radio and we blow our air horn, woohoo, we got a good one now. Pull behind a fire engine with most of the fire responders, first responders complacently standing with that, can you believe I had to leave my quarters for this attitude? The mood was set to rescue that chronic complainer, the someone who'd rather spend Christmas Day in a hospital bed surrounded by strangers than home alone again. Fire gives the report, he can walk. He's about a 55-year-old male. Neighbors noticed him standing outside, sitting outside his uh, second story, second floor apartment. Apparently, he locked himself out. She states that he stopped eating and taking his meds for some time now. Unknown history. The vital's good. Upon greeting the spinning man, he's lethargic. He's confused. I wonder, does he even know that it's Christmas? With the fireman at each arm, we scuffle toward the stairs and stop at the top. Look down. With a long, he looks down with a long face as if they were steps right into the pits of hell. With each step, he becomes weaker and weaker, and you can see a little bit of light drain from his eyes. Halfway through that journey, his hands, his arms too heavy to hold on to anything, drop to his side. His jeans probably haven't really fit him in a long time. They fall past his pubic line, exposing the base of his penis. The only thing keeping his pants from shooting to the ground I try hard not to look, but I can't help but notice his sunken abdomen and well-defined pubic girdle, like that of a decaying corpse. It's not a common place to see the effects of anorexia in a man, though they don't even call it that really. They just say he's starving himself to death. His legs gave out from beneath him. With me standing in front of him, I grab his legs while attempting to keep his pants up with two firemen. With the two-man fire rescue, we carry this man no heavier than a hot teenage beauty queen the rest of his journey down the stairs, through the corridors, and into the squad. He was mumbling something. He didn't want, he wanted me to pay attention. Now, sir, calm down. We have to take your blood pressure. Just relax, relax there. He grabbed my arm with this weak urgency, and I didn't stop to listen, not for one moment. I have no idea what he was trying to say to me. I don't have a clue. Fire yells, BP-80, bipe, help, you guys need help starting a line? We're a Bravo unit. I suggest you drive fast then. The fireman sl slams the door and gives that go-go bang. My new basic, wide-eyed, runs to the driver's seat excitedly. Code 3? Code 3, Toledo. We're on our way, sir. We'll get you some help, sir. Sir! Sir! Sternal rub, there's this weak moan. I retake the vitals and I can't get a BP. The pulse is weak and thready. The respirations are shallow and I can't seem to count them. The driver swings around another corner with no regard for me whatsoever. I fly and I hit my head on the cabinet. I blink out the fuzz from my eyes. Take it easy up there already. ETA, four to five. Oh, shoot. I gotta give report. Give me a channel to Toledo. Push the button for the mechanical BP. Sir, sir, he grimaces. I can't see the chest rise and fall. There's too many bumps. We're going too fast. But well, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Toledo, Toledo Hospital, this is Unit 21. We're en route to your facility with a 55-year-old male found outside his home with sergeant and confused BP-80 by pout. Respiration's 20 and shallow, responsive to verbal stimuli. Patient on a non-rebreather, 15 liters, ETA, three to four minutes. Do you have any questions for us? Unit 21, Toledo is clear. See you in three to four. Toledo out. 21 out. Ah! I better get some O2 on him. I fumble through the cabinet for a non-rebreather. I don't look at him. I don't even glance at him. I hook up the O2 and it's not working. Oh, I forgot to turn the tape on. I'm pulling in. Okay, 15 liters, 15 liters on a mask. Okay, I got it. I got it. Sir, sir, there's no response. I'm not, he's not looking so good. He's not looking so good. Back door's open and my partner pulls out the gurney and I jump out with 
with my legs and I catch the legs of the gurney. Okay, O2, check, I got it. Vital signs are written down. I'm ready to give the report. We scurry through the doors of the ER and we're greeted with that Merry Christmas. Is this that low BP? Room 14. Everyone moving with that here we go again attitude. Another old man at Christmas time. One, two, three, move to the ER bed. Sir, sir, the nurse tries to arouse him, yanks off the O2 mask. He's not breathing. Not getting a pause, start CPR, crash car. How long has he been down? She snaps at me, but I don't know. Oh God, I don't even know. I'm standing wearing this, this sheet of paper and I, the vital signs that the fire department gave me and I never even got my own. He tried to say something to me and I wouldn't listen. And I didn't listen. And I'm pushed aside by this montage of doctors and nurses all piling into this tomb of a room. Give me a line, intubating, quick pads on, V-fib, charge to 200, clear, zap! No pulse. I need a syringe of normal saline. The nurse commands me and I try to find a vial and I try to get it all together and I'm again pushed aside. It's right here, she shouts, pre-filled and ready. FBN, charge to 300, clear, zap! I continue CPR, and we're on own in. Still no pulse, poor speed fib, charge to 360, zap! I wait in the hall. I'm just in the way. I'm trying, trying not to cry. Oh God, what did I do? What have I done? Dear Lord in heaven, he was just walking 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes. And it was Christmas Day, Christmas Day for God's sakes. Asystole, push another epi, circulate, push, 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 hold compressions. Asystole in two line leads. There's no pulse. Time of death is 1942. It's on Christmas Day. It's on Christmas Day. <laughs>